Hey, what would you do if you found out that your father was one of the most wanted pedos in the U.S. with over 23 victims? Yeah. Check this out. Father is one of the most wanted pedophiles in America. Um, I found out around Thanksgiving that he had been hurting two girls that are my favorite people. Okay. I know it's gonna cry. I just freaked you okay. out. <laughs> and when I heard what he had done and how it affected that child, she looked at me and she was like, he's so nasty. And she said it with his face, this face of like disgust. And she's she's in she's in like the first or second grade. No child should look at me and ever do that. So I decided yeah. that if my father was going to be hers, then I was going to be his monster. That's right. Because That's no right. one gets to touch a child. We have the power to stop it with our mouths. We don't have to fight nobody. Literally, all you have to do is say, this man did this. And everyone he ever hurts gets validated. Everyone that man has ever touched with one word gets their power back because of you. My father, he has 23 victims. Whoa. We found that out because I posted him online. God we are still damn. looking, and we will still look for him. But I want you to know that you have the power. You, you, you have the power to change the whole family line. Your daughter grows up, somebody hurts a child. She decides, I'm going to protect that child like my mom did, like my cousin did. Then her grandkids protect them. You heal your entire generation by speaking up once. So we say no more. Because men don't get to hurt children, women don't get to hurt children, all of us have the power to protect ours, and if your family decides they want to be quiet, throw them away. That's right. If they want to sweep it under the rug, burn the rug. Because there That's is no right. reason why any of us should not stand up for our children. We're done with that. Thank you. I say. I say. That's right. You go, girl. That's how you do it. Shout out to you, salute to you, all that. And all of the above. We have to salute this young lady. Because most people in this situation that has like a, a family member doing these type of things in the family and all of that, like she said, they sweep the shit under the rug. They like to keep the shit on the hush hush and quiet. You know what I'm saying? And they know what's going on. They know it. Crazy. Like she said, burn the fucking rug. If someone wants to keep the shit like under wraps and don't let people know about this shit, them motherfuckers got to go too. But that is crazy to find out that your father, the man that you, you grew up idolizing and loving and all of this stuff, has 23 victims, bro. That is mind-blowing. Now, I have I have to, to think about and beg the question, did he do something to his own kids and, like, cousins and siblings and relatives and stuff like that? Because if he has 23 outside victims, and the only reason why you found out was because of a Facebook post, he has plenty and many, many more. For sure. But this is scary, bro. This is scary to be living your life and have a person that's right next to you, the one that, you, like, a person that you care about could be out doing these type of things, involved in these type of activities. Like, sheesh. And why isn't this girl across all the news platforms? Like, when's the last time you've ever heard of the child of the, the predator on the front lines trying to be the predator or the monster to that predator or monster? I don't, there's no situation. You can't recall it because it hasn't happened. If it has, let me know. Drop that shit in the comments. But from my memory and my recollection of the times and all that stuff, that shit ain't happened. Like she said, people sweep it under the rug. But yeah, man, she's a true soldier. Like, she's doing what's right no matter the circumstance. Like, she deserves a Nobel Peace Prize. Like, she she deserves awards, man. This shit is... A, like, she deserves a standing ovation, a round of applause, everything. Like, I can't praise this girl enough. For her to be out here on the front lines going going hard like she's going and the predator is her own father so that means she's going to do what's right and what's good regardless no matter what man you gotta respect that gotta respect but yeah i'm done now i want to hear from y'all i want to know what y'all think about this and then also man share this video share it get it around you heard her say the only reason why she was able to find the other 23 victims is because of the post that she made, okay? So let's go ahead and share this, post it, get it all over the place. That way, other victims and other possible victims 
can go ahead and let it be known and see that we're making steps and well, not we, but they're making steps to incarcerating, throw away the key with this dude. Like this dude right here, 23 victims, homie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He need to be. Like he need all that, all of that wrapped into one. But yeah, like I said, I want to know what y'all think, how y'all feel about this. Drop it in the comments.